Hello to everyone watching this video, which is probably just Professor Halpern. My name is Joshua Jennings, and I am in Professor Halpern's 930 operations management class. And for the final, my project was on Roberto, Roberto Goizueta, uh, the CEO of the Coca-Cola company. Um, so with some early life, um, I, as you can't really see this, but... Uh, Roberto Goizueta was born in the year 1931 on November 18th in Cuba. Uh, he spent most of his early life growing up, spending time with family, especially in Cuba. That was more of their, uh, what they did is, as a culture, uh, family was very important. And so Robert, Robert, R Roberto spent a lot of time with his father. Uh, Roberto was lucky enough to go to Yale University when he left Cuba and graduated with a degree in chemical engineering. And this led him eventually to work for his father again when he got back to Cuba. And Roberto just was not comfortable. He, he knew that he wanted to be a, he wanted to set himself up for his own business career. And that is exactly what he did. So after working for his father for a little bit, he, he received an entry level position at the Coca-Cola company as a bilingual, um, a bilingual chemist for, for the Coca-Cola company, kind of a lower level job, but it was, a, it was a good job for him coming from America. He actually fled Cuba from the, uh, from Fidel Castro's power. So he was, he was pretty against what was going on in Cuba and went to America and was lucky enough to land a job in the Coca-Cola company. But this completely altered the course of his life. Uh, eventually, he became the vice president of uh, technical research. And by the age of 35 years old, he was the youngest person in Coca-Cola history to do something like that, which was very impressive. Because in the past, Coca -Cola, uh, the Coca-Cola company was a lot older, and they were much, much older businessmen. And so to have somebody as young as 35, Roberto Goizueta was an example to, to many in the company that you can be a top dog in the business world at such a young age. Uh, he was named president in 1980, and then became the CEO in 1981. So... Uh, a crazy turnaround for him going from Cuba, spending time with his dad. His dad was a great businessman, so that kind of set him up well in life. But becoming the CEO of one of the most renowned companies in the world, which was amazing. And in his 16 years of leadership, the, the, uh, the stock price of Coca-Cola or the, the cost of the business went from $4.3 billion dollars to $156 billion in 16 years. So what a turnaround with, with everything that was going on. He, he built uh, the Coca-Cola company. Um, and what's, what I found so interesting about, uh, about Roberto Goizueta is that he was completely focused on the future. He was never focused on himself and how much money he could make. He was always focused on what he could do for future employees, future leaders, and what he could do for the Coca-Cola company in general. Uh, he knew that the Coca-Cola company was a perfect company, company for him because he could benefit so many people because everyone loves soda. He could benefit everyone else while also making a living himself. Uh, the Coca-Cola company has a Goizueta Foundation in which they provide many different leaders that are looking to work for the Coca-Cola company, opportunities that they can succeed and become the leaders that they want to. So because of Goizueta's leadership and his care for the individual and his care for uh, business integrity, they named a foundation after him where people have the chance to become the leaders that they want to become. Uh, lastly, I just wanted to read a quote by Roberto Goizueta. It says, without integrity, no other personal 
I gotta read it like this, sorry. Without integrity, no other personal quality has much value because integrity overrides everything else. And so relating to myself, I thought this was perfect for me because I have had sales experience and I continue to find sales jobs and I just don't feel right when I'm in a sales job that is not that does not have integrity. When I when I feel like I'm not in proper business practices, I feel like there's something wrong. And Roberto Goizueto was a perfect example to me that when you're honest and when you when you feel like you're doing something that's good for the world and you're making money doing that, that's when you're most happy. And so as a leader, as an example, Roberto Goizueto was perfect because he he showed that you can be a top dog, you can you can be a business guru and also help so many individuals. It's not always about how much money I can make. So I really enjoyed doing research about Roberto Goizueta and his management of the entire Coca-Cola company boosted it to where it is today. One of the most renowned, one of the most known companies in the world. And so I hope to make myself a businessman that's like Roberto Goizueta, like the man that he was, like the businessman that he was. I hope to, to become something like him to help others in business, to help others uh, financially, to help others in leadership, but also to, to make money for myself, doing something that I know is helping others. But that is the end. Again, thank you for the great semester. I really appreciated learning from you, and uh, this project was great. Fun to learn about Roberto Goizueta and what it, what it takes to be a, uh, a businessman with integrity and then also a successful business person.